We got big news this week. Fantastic Four, you're joining the MCU. That's awesome. There are many ways to get a hold of Marvel news from a ton of news outlets, but recently, Marvel has now released a new way to get more information about their future projects. Marvel has officially launched its new weekly podcast, taking fans deep into the Marvel Universe for the latest news, interviews, and exclusive surprises from behind the scenes of the House of Ideas. Today, we wanted to go over the first episode and what all was talked about, including an interview with Kevin Feige himself. When asked which upcoming Marvel project he's most excited for, Feige joked that they're all our babies and we love them equally, but he revealed that he has a personal soft spot for the upcoming Fantastic Four movie. Before he was asked about that particular movie though, the fans were brought up and how it would be for the fan base to have access to this podcast. So Kevin really has been here since the very beginning. Do you remember seeing Iron Man? I do remember seeing Iron Man. I don't remember who I was with because that wasn't important. <laughs> so I really don't. I really couldn't tell you who I saw it with. I didn't see it with myself, but I was really excited to see my friends. But I couldn't tell you. People, my friends are going to hear this. They're going to be like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I don't remember who, if it was you. And this wouldn't be the first time that Feige has expressed his excitement for the Fantastic Four film. You know, established actors who people will know their names very well, or do you target newcomers who you can build up with the franchise like you have with Hemsworth and Hiddleston and other people in the past? I think the MCU is a beautiful combination of both, right? I think I think you look at no further than Simu in Shang-Chi, uh, like Chris Hemsworth, um, like Tom Hiddleston, a character like Tom Holland. I'm incredibly excited for what we're doing on the Fantastic Four right now and what Matt Shackman, our director who did WandaVision, is working on, Feige says. He's already moved to London and we start filming at the end of July. Funny story, we start shooting the Monday after Comic-Con. Oh, wow. The day after Comic-Con's first day of filming on, on Fantastic Four. And I'm extremely excited by it because I think those characters um, are, uh, are mainstays, are, are legendary pillars of the Marvel Universe that we've never got to play with or explore um, in, any, in any significant way. Of course, he didn't reveal too much, but is trying to create excitement around these projects in his next phase of the MCU, even going into the most recent release of the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. With the first two extremely successful Deadpool movies, right? Marvel Studios had nothing to do with those. So in a way, we were, we were playing in Ryan's turf and we were playing in somebody else's uh, in somebody else's sandbox. Um, in the other way, they were coming into our sandbox. And we wanted to, what we wanted to make it unique was the blending of those, of those uh, styles. The project is the first time the superhero team will join the interlinking Marvel Cinematic Universe with a cast that includes The Last of Us, Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, AKA Mr. Fantastic, The Bears, Eben Moss Batrich as Ben Grimm, The Thing, and Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm. Feige said perceptive fans had already spotted the unexpected setting of the Fantastic Four film, which had not yet been announced. He even went a little bit into the future of Marvel and the idea creation process. What keeps you inspired to go forward into the future? You know, I really, I think it's the same thing. You mentioned the 85th anniversary of, of, of the comics. I think the same things kept the comics going, which is Marvel's the house of ideas and has always been the house of ideas. And I hope will always be the house of ideas, which is continuing to try new storylines and take the characters to new places. The official Marvel podcast will release a new episode every Wednesday. Early episodes will feature exclusive interviews with some of Marvel's mightiest comic book creators and many of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's producers and stars. The podcast will be available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms in the U.S. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments and what he said? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys.